Did somebody holler for some homemade cookie dough? Huh? Are you hungry? Listen, I'm starting here with one cup of butter. One cup. And I'm going to go ahead and beat this butter down. I'm going to beat it down. It smells so good. You can smell it all in the air. It's already, child's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. <sighs> okay, listen. You know what I say all the time. Are you hungry? Listen, this is what your dough, we're, we have our cookie dough. But what we're going to do is we're going to chill it in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes before we actually lay it out on a cookie sheet. All right, guys, go take a break. And as you're doing that, go clean up your kitchen. Go and clean up your kitchen. Chill your cookie dough for 30 to 45 minutes. And I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, you guys, now this is my favorite part right here. You can actually choose whatever type of shapes that you want. I do half moons sometimes. I'll do... Um, circles or flat round cookies whatever shapes you want to do I like to do the half moons and I like to do these little uh, the circular ones but this is it so create your shapes lay them on this is parchment paper I actually spray my parchment paper with butter flavored Pam and then you're going into the oven for 13 to 15 minutes I start watching at the 13 minute mark but no longer than like 15 minutes. And then you're gonna pull them out and then we're gonna go play in some powdered sugar. Yes, are you hungry? Let's go. Okay, I've actually pulled my cookies out. It's been 15 minutes, I've pulled my cookies out. Now I need to let them cool for just a little bit, just, a, just enough that I'm able to actually handle them because you're gonna to have to use your hands to handle them, to dip them in powdered sugar, so. Let them cool for a little bit. Give about, I don't even think 10 whole minutes. Give them a minute to cool. Okay, y'all. Listen, that is cover number one, okay, of your powdered sugar. Cover number one, you're just going to take your cookie, roll them, and then go ahead and lay it right back on the sheet. And then, once you finish all of them, then we're going to, I'm going to spray Pam, butter flavor Pam, over top of my cookies and it helps to make the sugar stick because it's gonna stick anyway but it just helps to make it stick we're gonna go back in for another dip for the second dip 
into the powdered sugar. Let's get into and it. And we are done. You will definitely see once you spray that layer of Pam on top of your first layer of your powdered sugar, how the second layer just sticks right to it. Just like tape. Perfect. This is how I come up with my melty sugar ball cookies. Listen, they definitely do melt in your mouth. Listen, you all enjoy, and I will catch you all next time. Later. Trust me when I tell you, they melt right in your mouth. They really, really do. They're fun. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. I'm actually going back and make another batch because you can actually, you can get two of these out of your recipe. So I got to go back because I got more cookies to bake. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Later. Are you hungry?